So wait till you see this lover. <laughs> I don't know, is it gonna be blurry? No, it's okay. So this guy, oh, I don't know his age. Let me ask Kathy what she thinks. Oh, um, he's a little bit beat up looking, but what a love bug. So his story was uh, people lived in an apartment and they moved out about a month and a half ago and left him behind, locked up. So somehow he got out of the apartment and ended up in another tenant's apartment. I think, well, I, I take that back. She, he wasn't in, in another tenant's apartment, but the other, the tenant took him in. She saw him outside, it was freezing. This was last week in the uh, polar vortex when it was minus 22 one day, minus 15, whatever the next day. So she took him in and um, we got him here. So he's been kind of on the run for, I don't know how long he was locked in the apartment. He's pretty thin, not, you know, super thin, but he's on the thin side. Um, Cause you can tell he's gonna be a pretty good sized cat once he fills out. But um, he, um, so I don't know how long he's actually locked in, but it could have been for, you know, a few weeks. I don't know, but eventually he somehow got out of the apartment. It's very sketchy. This area is very sketchy. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, ended up with this one nice girl who took him in, fed him, kept him warm, called us, and then we got him here. Um, so now, but he's a lover. Look at him. Look at him. So like I said, he's a little bit beat up looking. Who knows? Maybe he was trying to bang himself out of the apartment because it's like kind of on his face. A little bit of uh, missing hair. But he's a lover. He's got a little tiny, come here, uh, milk mustache. Just a tiny one. He's so... I mean, since the day he got here, he's been here less than a week now, he's just been so sweet. So this guy has really had a hard life. Um, he was never neutered. He's actually getting neutered today. So I wanted to hurry up and do his... Are you just rubbing all over me? So I named him Juno because we were trying to figure out, like, a cold weather name. You know, because he... <laughs> it's hard to get a video. He's rubbing. So I thought, well, some kind of a uh, city in Alaska. Well, turns out the day after I already named him and I already liked the name, Juno... I thought it was cute. Um, but since I checked what the weather was in Juneau that day, and it was like 33 degrees. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was like minus 15 here. But anyway, we still kept the name. But if you're wondering why it's spelled differently, it's 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 the Juneau, Alaska. You named after Juneau, Alaska. Because you were out there in that nasty cold. He's. I think he's going to be a really affectionate, loving lap cat. I don't know how he is with other cats yet because um he just got here and he's been in a cage since he wasn't neutered yet so you look up you look at me he's got beautiful green eyes once he i mean he is just like gonna be so gorgeous once he fills out he gets some of those little marks off his face i mean look how cute he is oh well this is getting along but i wanted you to tell his story <laughs> and um you got to come meet him thanks for watching Whoops.